There's a hidden jewel in southwest New Mexico known as a Seabar Ranch, consisting of roughly 6,386 deeded acres and 1,710 acres of New Mexico state lease, totaling 8,096 acres. This ranch presents a unique opportunity to own one of the most spectacular ranches available on the market today. Everything about this ranch is top-notch, from the meticulous husbandry, which makes it highly productive for both agriculture and wildlife, to the breathtaking scenery and impressive history, all situated in one of the best climates in North America. The ranch is located about 75 miles from the Arizona border. Tucson is within about 185 miles. The historic towns of Silver City, Bisbee, and Tombstone, with their great food and shopping, are all near enough for a day trip. Fishing lakes and rivers in the vicinity are easily accessible from the ranch. Also popular in the area are the Gila Cliff Dwellings, the City of Rocks, Rockhound State Park, and the Faywood Hot Springs. The Sea Bar is a transitional high desert ranch consisting of mountainous terrain with picturesque sandstone bluffs and protective canyons to rolling hills and grasslands. The ranch hosts an array of vegetation consisting of both native occurring grasses, shrubbery and trees, and some that have been seeded in by the ranch owner, including buffalo grass, Arizona cotton top, sand drop seed, and Russian wild rye, sycamore trees, and more. Sea bar is contiguous, and nearly the entire western boundary borders the 3.3 million acre Gila National Forest. It's nearly impossible to imagine while driving along the highway that something like this exists just in the distance. The current owner's motto is to leave the land better than you found it, and this ranch is a true example of that. Not only has there been substantial habitat improvements and continued management made personally by the seller, Seabar also received and implemented a $200,000 grant from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife for ground nesting bird habitat, the result of which has produced possibly one of the largest covey of quail in the area. The ranch has also received an award for excellence in range management from the Society for Range Management and an award for outstanding land stewardship from the New Mexico Association of Conservation Districts. Water improvements include 11 wells, 8 storage tanks, and approximately 30,000 feet of pipeline providing excellent water distribution, not to mention the numerous seasonal dirt tanks that are found throughout. The ranch is fenced and cross-fenced, and some of the pastures have been managed primarily for cattle use, while others have been meticulously managed for wildlife habitat. There are three sets of working pens on the ranch. Seabar Ranch is in Game Management Unit 23 in Grant County and is within about 10 miles of the Hidalgo County line. Both Grant and Hidalgo counties hold 9 out of the 10 Boone and Crockett coos deer records per New Mexico Game and Fish. Unit 23 is also known for its high density of mule deer and Seabar is home to a multitude of both mule deer and coos deer. Deer tags are over the counter for the landowner and whomever the landowner wants to let hunt on the ranch. Three species of quail can be found on the property, gambles being the most prominent, Montezuma, and some scaled. Elk are rare in the general area, however, thanks to the careful management and abundance of grass and water, this ranch has a small elk herd, and elk tags are unlimited over the counter in Unit 23 for landowners as well. The outfitter has historically been guiding two elk hunts and two deer hunts yearly. Other wildlife on the ranch includes bear, mountain lion, antelope, Havelina, Coyote, Bobcat, and Coatamundi. The sandstone bluffs and overall topography of the ranch create opportunities for a multitude of other recreational activities to enjoy right at home, such as photography, rock climbing, and biking. The history of this ranch is evident in the many Native American sites, petroglyphs, pictographs, and the remnants of homesteads. There once was a school on the property in the early 1900s. The Seabar Ranch is truly a unique and special place. Currently, there's a lease contract covering three sections situated in the southernmost part of the ranch for wind-generated energy. 
Access for the power company for construction and maintenance is through a neighboring ranch to the south, maintaining the privacy and integrity of the heart of the property. For your own private showing, please contact Lauren Fichtel or Greg Little today.